Okay, an update to my dilemma with my switches. So a couple of people suggested that I should clean my connection here with some alcohol to make sure I have all of that residue from the flux off of it. So I'm just taking some of this isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to rub some on the track and hopefully if there's any residue on there it's going to come off. Now I'm not sure if I should clean the whole track with this or not, but there is some dirt on this, a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Um, yeah, so they are dirty. Anyway, let's um, let's see if the switch. Ah, it worked that time. But only the one time. Interesting. Nope. It only wants to work the one time. So, I guess maybe I'm... Whoops, I keep covering the camera. I, sorry. I guess I'm just going to continue on cleaning the whole track and maybe cleaning the wheels of my loco and give it another try. A couple of discoveries. One, this here thing was not pushed in real tight. It really it kind of, it, it kind of comes together and the switch seems to be working in one direction and not in the other direction. So, if I manually change it there, and it will switch. But when I go to switch it back, it won't switch. I don't know if the button is sticking. I'm not sure. I tightened all my connections. Here, down here, the back of the controller, here. I cleaned my track. I fixed this thing with working on tight enough. I have this new switch put in. So we'll see what happens. Back it up. We'll switch it. Nope. Nothing. Switch it manually. Same thing. It's only switching one way. Try to switch it the other way and it won't switch. So it's the same problem. Then I found this little meter thing. Um, it's kind of small, but I'll just put these things on the track and see if something happens. Oops. Um, I presume the black goes where the black wire on the track is 
and the white, the red, I don't know, goes where the white is, or maybe it doesn't make any difference. So I'm going to try that, see if I get any kind of reading off of this thing. Um, I got it on ohms, but there's DC and there's uh, DC again over here. And then there's AC, V, whatever that is. I don't know. But I'm going to put it on ohms. And we'll try that. I also found another power pack. It's for a train. Uh, it's got 19 volt AC, 18 volt DC. So I'm going to hook up my switch to this and see if it works. Give it a try anyway. You can see this or not. But we'll give it a try. So I got my thing turned on. I got this here. So I'm putting the black on here and the red on here. And whoops. And the needle's moving. So I guess that means I got something going on there. So I'll try it over here. Same thing. Try it down here where the turnout is. Sorry I can't film this, but I don't have a proper camera set up. I'm just using my iPhone, so... Oh, wait now. Okay, so... Oh no, there. Yep, yeah, I got power there. I'm just kind of going down the turnout to see what's going on. I presume this is good when the needle is moving. So it seems... Oh, what's this here? Okay, so this right here doesn't seem to be getting this much power. And this right here isn't getting anything. Hmm. Oh, now it is. Oh, it is now. Maybe I did it wrong. I must have been doing something wrong. Okay. So what I ended up doing was I took this switch over here and I tried it way over here where the other one was. And of course, I forgot to videotape it when I was doing it. But I hooked it up here and it worked. So the problem is the switch itself. And Scrumptious Mall Railroads actually noticed that that switch I had had these divots in it. And he said they shouldn't have been there. And yeah, once he mentioned it, I thought, yeah, that does look kind of bad. <laughs> So that's what the problem was. So now I have to order some new switches because I have a couple more I need to put in too. So, end of my dilemma. It was a